Nearly two years after a deadly fire in a Southside high rise, residents are still out of their homes and they've had it. They're reaching out to us saying not enough's been done to get them back inside. Our Tara Molina is listening to them and investigating what's taking so long. Uncertainty, stress and exhaustion. That's how residents tell me they're feeling at this point. More than 100 still out of their homes nearly two years later. Move in dates pushed back again and again. We took their questions and concerns directly to building management and at this point we're pressing city leaders too. Nearly two years ago, January 2023 and now. The toll it has taken on me has been I can't measure it. You're looking at the Harper Square Cooperative at 48th and Lake Park, where more than 130 units of the 25 story apartment complex are still deemed unlivable. I'm just exhausted. The voices of some of those still displaced. There's a problem. Rallying in a church on the south side. It's not just a building, it's a community. Telling us insurance money has run dry. Many have nowhere left to go. I only had maybe an inch and a half, two inches of water that came under my door. And longtime residents like Joy Anderson Woodfolk. Then we were told 90 days. Then we were told another 90 days. Then we were given six months and then we stopped getting any response. They're running out of more than patience. What I am is helpless. There is no hope left, none. She lost her husband of 35 years just before the fire and tells me she still feels she hasn't even had a chance to grieve him. Now she's bracing for brain surgery in a few days and just wants to be back in her home. I'm in my fourth apartment. We took her concerns and all the concerns we heard here directly to fourth ward alderman Lamont Robinson. Uh, I've worked alongside the Department of Buildings and the Fire Department to expedite uh, those uh, permits. If all moves well, folks will be able to start uh, moving back into their homes. He says this month, not communicated to residents yet. The city's building department said in a statement, problems with permit applications contributed to the long timeline for repairs, but it just gave the okay for people who live on floors two through 10 to move back in. The alderman told me deferred maintenance on the building also contributed to delays. When we first covered this story back in January 2023, we were told that some folks would be able to move back into their units within a matter of days. Here we are almost two years later, and this has been really difficult for people. What can be learned from this to prevent this from happening again? What can be learned uh, from this is that uh, we have to make sure that uh, we maintain uh, these buildings. We're going to continue to keep a very close eye on this and of course bring you the very latest. Reporting in Kenwood, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News, Chicago.